What's up guys? I am here with my second Yankee Candle SAS haul. I went Sunday and I took advantage of the 6 for 60% off because I usually do that during the SAS sale. I usually used to do the 6 for 60 then last year they only did the 5 for 60 and I didn't do it last year at the 5 for 60. I passed on that and then this year rumors are going around there's going to be 5 for 60 again but then all of a sudden they had the 6 for 60% off, which is normally what they do for the friends and family, but they decided to do that for the SAS sale this year, which makes them 11.20 each. And I had a $5 rewards voucher I just received a couple of days before the sale started, so I used that, so that dropped them down to like, I think 10.37 each. So that's almost as good as 6 for 60, which was $10 each. So I went ahead and Went there Sunday. I thought it was going to last till Thursday because it started Thursday and it was only for four days. So I thought, well, I better go because I was going to do it like Monday or Tuesday. But since it ended Sunday, I went ahead and went and got me some six candles here. I got six, actually five tumblers and one jar. So I'll show you what I got here. Okay, first I have the Girl Scout cookies. Thin mints. So I've been wanting to try these for quite a while, but I never have broke down and got any of them. And I've heard different reviews on these. A lot of people have said the Thin Mints is pretty light, but then I've heard some people say the Trefoils was really good. I did hear, I think a couple people say it was that was kind of light too, but I heard a lot of people say it was really strong. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. I really, really like the smell of this one, Cold Sip. So I love like mint chocolate scents. And I also like the peanut butter one too, but for some reason this one just, when I went back Sunday, I just, for some reason I just was drawn to this one. I don't know why. So I'm hoping this, I can get it through. I'll probably put it in the bedroom since I'm kind of thinking it might be lighter and see what happens. Then I thought, no, maybe I should go in back and exchange it for the trefoils. I don't know. But I think I'm going to go ahead and give this one a shot. So I'll read the description on this one. This one says, so mouthwateringly real. The delicious scent of rich chocolate and cool, tingly mint. See, I love it. I love it, love it. I love mint chocolate scents. I love uh, Bath & Body Works mint chocolate and mint mocha bark. Um, and then Yankee had the one in the Pure Radiance. I think it was uh, something mint. Mint chocolate. It was a green one. That one was really light. I could barely smell it though. So, oh man, I don't know. Maybe that's not a good sign about this one then. But I do like it. It's so good. It smells just like the cookie. It smells mostly chocolate, but then you get that mint. It's not like Bath & Body Works mint chocolate is, is a lot more minty than this one is. This one's heavier on the chocolate to me. And then you get that little bit of mint mixed in there, which is fine with me because I love chocolate. And then, um, it would be great if it threw like chocolate layer cake, but I doubt that. That's that's probably pushing it. But we will see. I think I might give it a chance. Because I love that scent on Cold Sniff. It smells so good. And then also it's it's in the smooth wax, so I'm curious to see how that's gonna burn. That's why I got it, because if it was in a regular jar with paraffin wax, I probably wouldn't have got it because I just I can't do large jars anymore. I just don't have the time for them. I just finished up my uh uh, Lucky Shamrock from St. Patrick's Day and that thing took forever to burn. I didn't think that thing was ever gonna end. I swear that thing lasted for months. It was just the slowest burner ever. And I just, I got tired of it. I just get tired of them after so long. So hopefully this burns a little bit faster and more evenly. I don't have to, you know, worry about it tunneling so much. So we'll see, because I've never seen a jar in the soft wax. Okay, so what did I get next here? I got vanilla lime in the two-wick tumbler. It's got a really pretty green wax. And this one I've had, I think, two, two or three times before. And this scent, I just love this scent. It's such a good scent. And I'll read the description here. It says, smooth and refreshing the creamy richness of vanilla with sweet cane sugar 
and a zesty lime twist. Mmm, I love this one so much. I keep, I've been meaning to get one, but I just never have. Get another one. I just kept thinking, oh, I'll do it later, do it later. So I figured I'm just going to go ahead and do it. It's such a good scent, such a good scent. It's lime, you really get that really good lime scent with the creamy vanilla in there. It's just so good. So I figured I would get one and have that to burn for the summertime since I've been putting off getting one and what better time to do it when they're on sale for ten thirty seven. Okay, and then the rest I got, the rest I will explain to you here in a minute. The next one is Merry Marshmallow. Got the cute little uh, marshmallow snowman on there. This one is, they're all two tumblers, the rest of them here. This one here, I actually had this one when it first came out. Was it two years ago? Two or three years ago. I had it in the one wick jar and I could got I got hardly any throw from it at all. I actually, I had it in the living room, in the kitchen, and I don't think I tried it in a bedroom, which I probably should have, but I didn't. I just got, I heard it was like four candles that year I, I tried and had no throw at all. So I took them all back and I exchanged them for um, different scents, I think. So I figured I would give one more shot because it's in the tumbler and it's in the paraffin wax because all the white Tuic tumblers have the paraffin wax and the paraffin wax, it seems to do better with the throw a little bit. Sometimes it, I have good luck with the soft wax and Tuic tumblers from my experience for, for the most part. But I really have really, really good luck with the paraffin wax and the tumblers. And they seem to uh, have a really good burn. You don't have to trim the wicks. The wicks are the regular, uh, the wicks that are in the one wick jar. They're not the wicks that unravel like the other, like the soft wax does. So you don't have to, to trim them as much and keep on top of them like you do the other ones. So it's always kind of nice to have them. I wish they would make all the two wick tumblers and the paraffin wax. But I thought I would try it in the twig tumbler for the paraffin wax and see if I have better luck with a throw and I'll probably burn this in the bedroom. Let's see I'll read the description here for Mary Marshmallow. I have it pulled up here. For the kid in all of us we've created a marshmallow world for Christmas. This yummy fragrance will help you find happiness in a delightfully luscious and creamy soft concoction of marshmallow and vanilla. Indulge your sweet tooth and embrace everything that's sweet about the holidays. This one, it's a really good scent. It's definitely like vanilla. It kind of reminds me of a, like a lot of the other vanilla ones, um, even some of those Easter vanilla ones like Peeps and things like that, that kind of vanilla in there, but it's got a, a, a marshmallow note to it. It's got a slight marshmallow, a creamier marshmallow note with the vanilla. So a kind of fluffier note, if you will. So I love marshmallow and um, vanilla scents. So I'm hoping I get a good throw with this because I love like Bath and Body Works, um, vanilla bean, marshmallow, and all those kinds of things. I doubt it's going to be as strong as those, but if I burn it in the bedroom, I'm hoping to have good luck with that. So I picked that one up and then I got this one. White Christmas. And I got this one because the sales associate when I was in there yesterday told me that this one is not coming back this Christmas. Yes, you heard it right. She said it's not coming back and I could not believe it. I'm like, what? It's not coming back? I hadn't heard it yet. I have not heard that it wasn't going back yet. So I'm like freaking out thinking I have to get it because I love this candle. This candle is one of my favorites for Christmas. I actually had it last year. I bought it last year at the SASL, burned it at Christmas and it was perfect. It burned perfect all the way down. I hardly had to trim it, had hardly any soot, and it had an amazing throw. I loved it. And it's it's white wax. It's in the paraffin wax, just like the Merry Marshmallow is. So I had to pick up another one. I almost got another one too, because I absolutely love this scent, and I'm so afraid that I won't have any more after this one. So I had to get at least one. I would really like to get another one at least. 
because this is so, so, so good. So I will read the description for this one. It says, there's a quiet holiday beauty in this blend of woodsy evergreen, evergreens and cool, freshly fallen snow. Gosh, this one is so good. This one to me, it just is total Christmas. I smell, it just totally reminds me of Christmas when I smell this. I get like the evergreen, pine evergreen. Pretty much is what I get in there. It's just a pine evergreen. It says freshly fallen snow, but I mean, you know, snow don't really have a scent, but yeah, evergreens, woodsy evergreen pine is what I smell in this. So good. I just totally think of Christmas. I think of Christmas trees. It reminds me of Christmases when I was a little kid. This to me is to Christmas what pumpkin wreath is to fall. When I smell pumpkin wreath, I get total fall. I smell this, I get total Christmas. And both of them aren't, re aren't coming back. It's crazy. So I would stock up on this if you get a chance to get this because they say it's not going to be back. So we'll see, I guess. And then there's two more that they said aren't coming back. One of them is gingerbread. Now this one, I have never had gingerbread, believe it or not. This is the first one I've ever bought. I almost got it last year, but I didn't. And now that I heard it's not coming back, I'm like, I have to get it. This one here is, it's the brown wax with the pretty gingerbread house on the front. I'll read the description here. Gingerbread houses and gingerbread men are delicious childhood memories that we love to, ch to visit every year. The aroma of spicy warm gingerbread rich with nutmeg, cinnamon, and brown sugar will instantly return you to those carefree days when the holidays were always full of wonder, joy, and tingling anticipation. This one is so good too. I can't believe I've never bought this one before because this is so much a scent that I would love. It's spicy. You get the nutmeg, the ginger, cloves, all those good spices. And I love spice candles. It's, it's similar to me. It reminds me a little bit of pumpkin ginger bark. I don't know if that's why they're not bringing it back because they're keeping gin pumpkin ginger bark. I don't know if they think that this is gonna, that's going to replace gingerbread. It does smell very similar, and I love both. Well, I love pumpkin ginger bark. I've never burned this one yet, but I think I will like it, and I heard it's super strong. And my pumpkin ginger bark did really well, too, so at least that will stay around, because I loved that one. But this is just a classic, though. I can't believe they're getting rid of this, though. So, I hope to have good luck with it. At least I still have pumpkin ginger bark. So stock up on that one if you find that one, too. And then the last one I have, this one... I was pretty sure she told me this one wasn't coming back as well, but I couldn't remember when I got home. But then on Facebook, I heard somebody say that, that this one wasn't coming back as well. This is Celebrate Christmas. It's got the cute little picture of all the, the gingerbread man and all the little uh, spices and little bowl of simmering spices and stuff there. This one was one of the ones I had when it first came out two or three years ago, along with Merry Marshmallow. I had Merry Marshmallow, I had this one, and I had um, the snowflake one, the pink snowflake one. Excuse me, what was that one? Uh, snowflake, you know what I'm talking about. It's the pink one with the snowflake. I had that one, and they were all, I couldn't smell any of them. I had them all in the large jars though, so I took them all back, and I can't believe I couldn't smell this one because I this one was so strong, cold sift, so spicy, but I couldn't smell hardly anything when I burned it. So it, again, it's in the tumbler, it's not in the paraffin wax, it's in the smooth wax, but I do have good luck with my tumbler, so I thought I'm gonna give it another shot because it's not coming back, supposedly, this Christmas, so I'm gonna try one last time before it goes away and see if I have any better luck. So I'll read the description here for this here. There's no place like home at the holidays and there's no place more inviting in the home than everyone's favorite gathering place, the kitchen. You'll bring home unforgettable holiday moments time after time with this comforting recipe of spices and sweets right from the heart of the kitchen. 
Ooh, and that's what you get. I love this one too. It's very spicy, like gingerbread is spicy. This is spicy, but it's got definitely more Christmassy, cinnamony uh, spices. It doesn't say anything, it just says um, spices and sweets. Um, I don't know about the sweets, but definitely you get like clove, nutmeg, maybe a little ginger, but not as much more cinnamon than like the ginger. Ginger um, can be can be for like gingerbread, but then it can also be more like a fall scent. But um, Christmas scents like this, they tend to put a little more cinnamon in there. But it's got those cinnamon spices and all that stuff in there. It's really good. I really like it. So I'm hoping to have good luck with this one. Because like I said, I love spice candles. Any kind, anything spicy. So that is it. Those are my six candles I got. And like I said, I would try to find the three here that are uh, white christmas gingerbread and still white christmas and stock up on those if you like those scents because supposedly they're not coming back they're really doing a lot of, away with a lot of scents this year it's crazy so i don't know if they're gonna bring a whole bunch in or what they're gonna do but i have been having really good luck with my yankees so hopefully they're uh coming around and gonna be stronger finally so i hope you all have been having good luck with your, at your essays S-A-S haulage and thanks for watching please comment and let me know if you've had these gotten any and how you like them and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye